Costs are rising, an energy crisis is looming, his team is missing and the media, who should be holding him accountable, is just catching on in her Ingraham angled monologue on Friday. Host Laura Ingraham sounded off on the intensifying inflation and economic crisis being overseen by President Joe Biden and U.S. Secretary Pete Buttigieg. Ingraham pointed to bare grocery shelves in parts of the country, as well as the increasing logjam of container ships at ports in New York and California. The cost of renting a home or apartment is soaring and an energy crisis, made worse by Biden's climate agenda threatens to bring down the global economy, she said, adding that Biden did little to help the situation in what she characterized as a sleep-inducing, unremarkable event in New England. Biden visited Hartford to promote his socioeconomic spending package, dubbed Build Back Better, where he again claimed the net cost of the $3.5 trillion bill would be zero. Biden's not just asleep at the wheel, he's putting us to sleep too. I think I nodded off three separate times today, when he was in my home state of Connecticut pushing his reckless spending plan despite soaring inflation, she said. What's wild about how things have cratered is that the same media who thought they were helping Biden by not aggressively covering his agenda and his administration's conflicts of interest have actually helped dig the hole he's now standing in. Same for his party leaders on Capitol Hill and the Federal Reserve, she said. Not only did they downplay inflation, they all essentially encouraged the piling on of more spending and debt the exact opposite of what we should be doing now. Ingraham said Biden continues to be a non-factor in any type of inflation mitigation, while Buttigieg was out on paternity leave for two months. Biden is just shuffled from one lame, controlled event to another, always surrounded by his protective press cocoon, she said. Yesterday we discovered Mayor Pete is on paternity leave, though, so, big deal, he doesn't have one of those important cabinet positions. I mean, He's only Secretary of Transportation when we have historic delays at major ports in the United States. Ingraham noted that one of the Indiana Democrats' stated solutions for the supply chain crisis is increasing the availability of apprenticeships. It sure tells you a lot about their sense of urgency about problems directly affecting the American people, the working people who are hurting. Are any major media concerned about absentee cabinet secretaries when Biden's concerned? Because when Melania Trump was off the scene for a few days, it was wall to wall. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe.